The transit of Mars into the sign of Pisces on April 23rd until June 1st is poised to be a significant event, marked by its conjunction with Rahu. It is essential to note that these interpretations are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24-degree difference with the tropical zodiac. Mars symbolizes various facets such as willpower, courage, proactive tendencies, aggression, anger, associations with siblings, male friends, boyfriend, a soldier, an athlete, and real estate, among other attributes. Pisces, being the natural twelfth sign of the zodiac, mirrors the themes associated with the twelfth house, including seclusion, spiritual exploration, imaginative realms, transcendence to other dimensions, and concealed aspects of oneself. Pisces signifies latent talents, capacity for working behind the scenes, and the development of one's spiritual identity. Jupiter governs Pisces. As Mars transits into Pisces, a shift occurs in how we approach challenges and take initiative in our lives. Previously, in the idealistic realm of Aquarius, characterized by managed energy and a cooperative vision, our actions were guided by the visionary outlook of the fixed air sign. However, with Mars now transiting the mystical depths of Pisces, a mutable water sign, our methods of tackling life's obstacles undergo a transformation, embracing a more fluid and intuitive approach. As the North Node Rahu is already transiting Pisces' sign, this alignment carries both volatile and sensitive energy, particularly notable due to Pisces' water sign nature and Mars's debilitation in Cancer, another water sign. The transit of Mars into Pisces invites us to navigate the currents of our emotions and subconscious desires as we embark on new endeavors and confront hurdles along the way. Unlike the structured and forward-thinking mindset of Aquarius, Pisces encourages us to tap into our intuition, empathy, and imagination, infusing our actions with a sense of compassion and spiritual depth. This transition signifies a departure from rigid strategies and logical reasoning, as we are called to embrace the unpredictable and enigmatic nature of Pisces. Our actions may now be guided by subtle cues, dreams, and visions rather than concrete plans, allowing for a more organic and intuitive flow of energy. With Mars positioned in Pisces, it resides in its twelfth house concerning its rulership of Aries and its fifth house concerning its rulership of Scorpio. This positioning provides insight into how Mars may manifest its energy. In Pisces, the harvest is found, signifying a period of culmination and closure before the onset of renewal in Aries. Here, Mars has the opportunity to relinquish control and immerse itself in the expansive realm of emotions, facilitating swift resolution and closure within the broader context of the emotional landscape. In Pisces, Mars seeks to dissolve boundaries and barriers, encouraging us to approach challenges with a sense of adaptability and openness. Rather than forging ahead with sheer force and determination, we are prompted to surrender to the ebb and flow of life, trusting in the wisdom of our inner guidance and the interconnectedness of all things. This shift in Mars's expression reminds us of the importance of balancing action with receptivity, strength with sensitivity. In the ideal situation, on a collective level, the transit of Mars into Pisces may coincide with a heightened emphasis on empathy, compassion, and spiritual growth. We may witness a greater emphasis on humanitarian efforts, collective healing, and the pursuit of unity and understanding amidst diversity. However, it's essential to remain mindful of the potential pitfalls of Mars and Pisces, such as passive aggressiveness, escapism, and the tendency to avoid confrontation. While the energy of Pisces can be immensely inspiring and transformative, it may also veer towards disillusionment or confusion if not grounded in practicality and discernment. The conjunction of Mars and Rahu can yield varied outcomes, including positive manifestations, but the sensitivity of Pisces accentuates the potential for turbulence. This alignment may intensify conflicts and impulsive decision-making, heightening the risk of accidents and confrontations. Individuals facing threats from hidden adversaries may find these tensions exacerbated during this transit. Mars's conjunction with Rahu suggests a period where impulsive behaviors can lead to unforeseen consequences, especially for those predisposed to anger or residing in conflict-prone regions. There are opportunities for constructive action. Individuals inclined towards spirituality or advocacy may find their endeavors empowered by this transit. Innovation, political aspirations, or endeavors requiring assertiveness may also benefit from the transit's dynamic energy. Whether one's pursuits align with societal norms or challenge them, the potency of Mars and Rahu combined can catalyze impactful outcomes. Individuals may exhibit unparalleled courage and audacity, driven by an intense inclination towards action. This conjunction can serve as a powerhouse of energy, propelling individuals towards their goals with unwavering determination. Rahu's influence in conjunctions is known to magnify the traits of other planets, 
making Mars's condition paramount in determining the outcomes. Mars is in a friendly sign. Jupiter will be the dispositor of this conjunction as it rules the Pisces sign. The placement of Pisces in specific houses further delineates the areas of life influenced by this conjunction. Depending on the natal chart, individuals may experience heightened activity and challenges in the corresponding domains. This period could signify a surge of bold initiatives and accomplishments, particularly in areas symbolized by the house of the conjunction. Mars, being a natural malefic, possesses the potential to dominate over gentler planets such as the Moon, Venus, and Mercury during its transit over natal placements. When it aligns with other malefic or major planets like Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, Jupiter, or the Sun, it sparks friction among them, often resulting in significant events. When Mars transits alongside friendly planets like the Sun or Jupiter, positive outcomes are likely, whereas its conjunction with Saturn or Rahu and Ketu may indicate stressful events in life. It's crucial to perceive Mars as the planet of action. Wherever it transits in the chart or during transit, it ignites activity in matters associated with that specific house. If Mars is well positioned in the chart and during transit, it also takes on the role of a defender or protector, safeguarding the affairs related to the house it influences. To accurately assess the impact of these transits, it is crucial to consider your ascendant and moon signs. The ascendant sign offers insights into the timing of life events, while the moon sign reveals how you will emotionally respond to these changes. Take into account the position of your current Mahadasha Lord in your birth chart, as it can shed light on how these transits will influence the recurring themes of your current Dasha period. This transit may manifest differently for each individual, and how they navigate this transit will depend on their personal charts. A more precise understanding of the impact of this transit can be gained by examining Mars's Ashtaka Varga score in Pisces. Keep in mind that the effects of this transit are contingent on Mars's interaction with the planets in individual birth charts. It's also worth noting that individuals currently experiencing the influence of Mars Dasha may feel the effects of this transit more intensely. To understand how this transit may affect you based on your zodiac sign and the houses it transits, let's delve into those specifics. For Aries individuals, the transit of Mars into Pisces, alongside Rahu's presence in the same sign, indicates a period of significant astrological shifts. These transits carry profound implications for various facets of life, necessitating a thorough analysis to discern their potential effects and navigating the upcoming challenges and opportunities. As Mars, the ruling planet of Aries, transits into the twelfth house, a house associated with spirituality, solitude, and subconscious exploration, individuals may find themselves drawn towards introspection, meditation, or delving into the depths of their psyche. This transit encourages a retreat from the external world to explore one's inner landscape, although there is a risk of succumbing to escapism or self-destructive tendencies. Health issues or legal entanglements may surface during this period, prompting individuals to exercise caution and mindfulness in their actions and decisions. As the first lord in the twelfth house, this period suggests a period of letting go, or experiencing losses in areas related to the self, identity, and personal projects. Aries individuals may find themselves reflecting deeply on their own motivations and desires. It's a time for introspection and spiritual renewal, where closure can be found in past grievances or burdens. On the positive side, Mars in the twelfth house can give you the courage and drive to confront any hidden fears or unresolved issues. Use this period to address any emotional baggage or past traumas that may be holding you back. Seek support from trusted friends, family members, or therapists if needed. Mars as the 8th house lord transiting 5th away in the 12th house indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through transformative experiences, intimacy with a spouse and carnal pleasures, shared resources, doing hobbies, and other leisure activities with a spouse, etc. However, Mars' aspect on the 7th house may strain marriages or partnerships, leading to imbalances or conflicts. It is essential for individuals to cultivate patience, humility, and diplomacy in their interactions with their partners to navigate challenges effectively and preserve the harmony of their relationships. However, the presence of Jupiter in the second house offers a glimmer of hope, promising positive outcomes if individuals persevere through the turbulent period with resilience and optimism. Mars' aspect on the seventh house underscores the significance of maintaining harmony and understanding in relationships averting misunderstandings or confrontations that could strain interpersonal dynamics. The placement of Mars in the 12th house also signifies favorable outcomes for endeavors related to relocation, 
career transitions, or international ventures. This period presents opportunities for individuals to initiate significant changes in their professional lives, such as relocating for education or business purposes, or embarking on ventures with global reach. However, it is imperative for individuals to remain vigilant about their health and well-being, adopting preventive measures and avoiding reckless behaviors that could jeopardize their physical or mental health. The conjunction of Mars with Rahu in the 12th house warns against impulsive actions and urges individuals to maintain adaptability and flexibility amidst fluctuating circumstances. Financial prudence is emphasized during this period, with individuals advised to exercise restraint in their expenses and avoid speculative investments or ventures. Sibling relationships may require sacrifices or support, while conflicts and debts could arise if decisions are driven by anger or revenge rather than rationality and foresight. For Aries individuals, the combined influence of Mars and Rahu in the 12th house heightens susceptibility to deception, manipulation, or involvement in dubious schemes. Vigilance is paramount in discerning truth from deceit and avoiding scams or fraudulent activities that could lead to financial loss or reputational damage. Mars' aspect on the third house may instigate rash actions or conflicts in communication and interactions with siblings or peers, necessitating restraint and prudence. Mars' aspect on the 6th house could exacerbate conflicts or legal issues if approached impulsively, underscoring the importance of prioritizing resolution over confrontation and exercising caution in dealings with adversaries or rivals. Overall, Aries individuals are advised to tread cautiously during this period, exercising discernment, patience, and resilience in navigating the challenges and opportunities presented by the Mars transit into Pisces and the accompanying influence of Rahu. By harnessing the transformative energy of Mars in the 12th house for inner growth and self-improvement, individuals can emerge stronger and more adept at handling life's complexities, thereby maximizing their potential for personal and professional fulfillment. Adherence to caution, prudence, and ethical conduct will be instrumental in mitigating potential pitfalls and fostering long-term success and well-being. For Taurus individuals, the transit of Mars into Pisces, alongside Rahu's presence in the same sign, marks a significant astrological shift. This transit indicates a period of dynamic energy and potential growth across various spheres of life. With Mars entering the 11th house, Taurus individuals can anticipate an energized focus on social circles, group activities, and aspirations. The influence of Mars prompts a proactive approach toward pursuing goals, with individuals driven by enthusiasm and initiative. However, Amidst the pursuit of objectives, potential conflicts or power struggles with friends or associates may arise, emphasizing the importance of diplomacy and tact in interpersonal dynamics. The rulership of Mars over the 7th and 12th houses for Taurus individuals adds complexity to the transit. While the 11th house signifies social connections and aspirations, Mars' influence over the 7th house pertains to marriage and partnerships, while its association with the 12th house relates to subconscious influences and expenses. This intricate interplay suggests a need for individuals to balance their social endeavors with considerations of personal relationships and financial management. As the 12th Lord transiting the 12th away in the 11th house suggests a period of introspection and releasing old patterns or baggage for Taurus individuals. The 12th house is associated with endings, solitude, and spiritual retreat, indicating that this transit may prompt Taurus to confront hidden fears or unresolved issues from the past. Mars as the seventh house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness or excitement through partnerships, business. Taurus individuals may experience a surge of passion and energy in their marital life or collaborations with others. It's a time for embracing the joy of connection and shared experiences, as well as taking risks in matters of the heart. As Mars transits the eleventh house, individuals may feel compelled to control expenses, particularly if they are involved in business ventures. However, there's a risk of succumbing to impulsive spending or acquiring unnecessary items, driven by a sense of anticipation or hoarding tendencies. The conjunction of Mars with Rahu further complicates matters, potentially leading individuals astray from their intended path due to external influences or manipulations. The transit of Jupiter into the first house, occurring shortly after Mars enters Pisces, may provide a stabilizing influence and a sense of balance. However, the combined influence of Rahu and Mars, coupled with Jupiter's combustion, could cloud judgment and lead individuals to take bold yet imprudent steps. There's a caution against overestimating one's capabilities or succumbing to external pressures, which may result in financial strain or increased indebtedness. Mars' aspect on the second house underscores the potential for rebellion against family norms or financial management practices. 
it's imperative for individuals to exercise restraint and temper their impulses, particularly in familial and financial matters, to avoid discord or instability within the household. Similarly, Mars' seventh aspect on the fifth house may intensify the drive to enhance productivity or expand one's team. While this ambition is commendable, individuals must carefully consider the trade-offs involved and ensure strategic planning to avoid overextending resources. Despite the potential pitfalls, the conjunction of Mars and Rahu in the 11th house indicates a period of rapid growth and ambition for Taurus individuals. This surge of energy may propel them towards their goals with newfound determination and zeal, facilitating progress in social and professional spheres. However, there should be caution regarding potential associations with individuals of questionable character or ethics, urging caution in partnerships or collaborations. On the financial front, Mars' aspect on the second house encourages opportunism and a proactive approach towards income generation and savings. Taurus individuals are likely to capitalize on financial opportunities with vigor and determination, paving the way for increased stability and prosperity in the long run. Mars' aspect on the fifth house fosters critical thinking and problem-solving abilities. Taurus individuals can leverage these qualities to garner support and accumulate resources necessary for achieving their objectives, thereby maximizing their potential for success and fulfillment. Overall, the transit of Mars into Pisces, accompanied by Rahu, presents both opportunities and challenges for Taurus individuals. By exercising caution, restraint, and discernment in their actions and decisions, Taurus individuals can navigate the complexities of this transit effectively and harness its transformative energy for personal and professional growth. Through strategic planning and perseverance, they can maximize their potential for success and fulfillment across various aspects of life. For Gemini individuals, the Mars transit into Pisces, with Rahu in the same sign, holds significant implications. This transit, particularly impactful for Gemini's career and public image, is poised to usher in a period of dynamic energy and transformative potential. With Mars transiting through the 10th house of career and social status, Gemini individuals can anticipate a surge in ambition and determination in their professional pursuits. Mars, the planet of action and assertion, empowers individuals to pursue their career ambitions with vigor and passion. Mars in the 10th house can also indicate a period of increased leadership potential and assertiveness in your career path. During this transit, Gemini individuals may find themselves drawn towards seeking leadership roles or asserting their authority in the workplace, driven by a strong desire for recognition and success. The influence of Mars extends further as it rules over Gemini's 11th house of gains and the 6th house of daily work and routines. This alignment underscores the significance of diligence and perseverance in professional matters. Gemini individuals may experience significant career advancements, especially those engaged in foreign or overseas work. Opportunities for career expansion, educational pursuits, or venturing into new domains may emerge, prompting individuals to broaden their horizons and explore novel avenues for growth. As the 11th house lord transiting the 12th away suggests a time of introspection and letting go in areas related to friendships and social networks. It's a period where they may feel inclined to withdraw from social activities or reassess the value of their friendships. Closure and release may be found in letting go of outdated social dynamics, group affiliations, or long-held dreams that no longer resonate with them. 6th house lord transiting the 5th away indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through daily job and service to others. Gemini individuals may experience a boost in energy and motivation to tackle tasks related to work or health. However, amidst the promise of professional success, caution is advised to avoid impulsive decisions that could lead to financial losses. Mars' conjunction with Rahu in Pisces adds an element of unpredictability and confusion to Gemini's career trajectory. It's imperative for individuals to exercise prudence and strategic planning, particularly as the Sun transitions into Aries and subsequently into Taurus accompanied by Jupiter's combustion. The alignment of these planets underscores the dynamic energy surrounding Gemini's 11th house of gains, suggesting potential for financial growth and career opportunities. Yet, the influence of Mars conjunct Rahu introduces a degree of uncertainty and complexity, urging individuals to proceed with caution and mindfulness. Strategic planning and deliberate action will be essential, especially after May 18th, to navigate the challenges and harness the opportunities presented by this transit effectively. Gemini individuals involved in freelance work, entrepreneurial ventures, or creative endeavors may find this period particularly rewarding. Mars transit energizes their dedication and commitment, fueling their pursuit of professional success. 
However, maintaining a positive work environment and fostering a healthy work-life balance are crucial to prevent burnout and emotional strain. Mars' aspect on the fourth house highlights the potential for conflicts within the family or domestic sphere, necessitating diplomacy and restraint in interpersonal relationships. Individuals must strive to strike a balance between their professional aspirations and personal responsibilities, allocating time for family and self-care amidst their career pursuits. The conjunction of Mars with Rahu underscores Gemini's inherent ambition and competitive spirit, presenting both challenges and opportunities. While this alignment may fuel assertiveness and drive, Individuals must be mindful of maintaining a balanced and respectful demeanor in their interactions. Strategic planning, adaptability, and effective communication will be key to navigating the complexities of this transit successfully. Mars' aspect on the first house serves as a caution against potential accidents or injuries, especially during travel or physical activities. Gemini individuals are advised to exercise caution and vigilance to mitigate any risks to their well-being. Overall, the Mars transit through Pisces, accompanied by Rahu, indicates a period of heightened ambition and transformative potential for Gemini individuals in their career and public image. By leveraging their determination, adaptability, and strategic acumen, they can navigate challenges and seize opportunities for professional growth and advancement during this transit. However, maintaining a balanced approach, fostering harmonious relationships, and prioritizing self-care will be essential for ensuring success and well-being amidst the dynamic energy of this transit. For Cancer individuals, the transit of Mars into Pisces, with Rahu's presence in the same sign, indicates a period of dynamic energy and transformative potential. With Mars moving into their ninth house, Cancer individuals are poised to embark on a profound journey of exploration, learning, and spiritual growth. Mars's influence in the ninth house ignites Cancer's innate passion for knowledge and adventure, prompting them to seek new experiences and expand their horizons. This transit encourages Cancer individuals to embrace opportunities for travel or higher education, driven by a sense of curiosity and determination. The combination of Mars and Rahu in Pisces infuses Cancer's pursuits with an element of unpredictability and excitement, making this a time ripe for bold endeavors and personal expansion. As the 10th house lord transiting the 12th away suggests a period of introspection and potential losses or letting go in areas related to career, public image, and ambitions. Cancer individuals may find themselves reflecting on their professional goals and the direction of their career path. There may be a sense of withdrawal or a need to reassess their approach to achieving success. This transit encourages Cancer to release any burdensome responsibilities. Cancer individuals must remain mindful of potential conflicts with authority figures or rigid beliefs that could hinder their progress. Mars's presence in the ninth house may fuel a desire to challenge conventional wisdom or break free from limiting structures but it is essential for Cancer individuals to navigate these tensions with diplomacy and discernment. By embracing the spirit of adventure while respecting boundaries and traditions, Cancer individuals can harness the transformative potential of this transit. The positioning of Mars in the ninth house holds significant implications for Cancer's career and personal development. As the ruler of their tenth and fifth houses, Mars's presence in the ninth house indicates the potential for significant new opportunities and personal growth. Cancer individuals may feel compelled to explore new avenues for professional development, such as international ventures, educational pursuits, or spiritual studies. This transit encourages Cancer individuals to take calculated risks and seize opportunities for growth, confident in their ability to overcome challenges and achieve success. However, amidst their quest for growth and expansion, Cancer individuals must exercise caution against ego-driven pursuits or misguided ambitions. Mars's conjunction with Rahu in Pisces may cloud their judgment and lead them astray, prompting them to overestimate their abilities or pursue unrealistic goals. Cancer individuals are urged to remain grounded and discerning, avoiding the pitfalls of arrogance or self-delusion. By maintaining humility and integrity in their endeavors, Cancer individuals can navigate the complexities of this transit with grace and wisdom. As the fifth house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through creative expression, romance, and their children if they have any, Cancer individuals may feel a surge of energy and passion in their creative pursuits or romantic relationships. It's a time for taking bold action in matters of the heart and pursuing activities that bring joy and fulfillment. The transit of Mars in the ninth house also carries implications for Cancer's health and well-being. Mars's aspect on the twelfth house provides relief from unnecessary expenses and may aid in the recovery from ailments, albeit requiring some artificial means. However, 
cancer individuals must guard against dissatisfaction or restlessness with their current circumstances. As Mars's aspect on the fourth house may prompt them to seek significant changes in their living environment or personal life. It is essential for cancer individuals to maintain balance and moderation in their lifestyle choices, prioritizing self-care and well-being amidst the demands of exploration and growth. Despite the potential for challenges and disruptions, the transit of Mars in Pisces offers cancer individuals a valuable opportunity for self-discovery and growth. It is essential for cancer individuals to cultivate patience, resilience, and adaptability in the face of uncertainty, trusting in their ability to navigate the complexities of this transit with grace and wisdom. Overall, the transit of Mars in the ninth house presents cancer individuals with a unique opportunity to expand their horizons, pursue their passions, and embrace new experiences. By embracing the transformative energy of Mars and navigating the challenges with resilience and grace, cancer individuals can emerge from this transit stronger, wiser, and more aligned with their true purpose. For Leo individuals, the transit of Mars into Pisces, with Rahu in the same sign, holds profound implications. This transit signals a period of intense introspection, transformation, and psychological exploration, particularly as Mars moves into Leo's eighth house. For Leo individuals, Mars carries significant weight as the ruler of both the fourth and ninth houses. As Mars transits the eighth house, individuals may feel compelled to delve into the depths of their psyche, confronting fears and uncovering hidden truths. This transit prompts a profound desire for change, often driven by a sense of insecurity or the need to overcome personal limitations. As the ninth house lord transiting the twelfth away suggests a period of introspection and potential losses or letting go in areas related to beliefs, higher education, travel. Leo individuals may find themselves reflecting on their philosophical outlook, spiritual beliefs, or long-distance travel plans. This transit encourages Leo to release any outdated beliefs or dogmas that no longer serve their spiritual growth, allowing for closure and a deeper understanding of their place in the world. As the fourth house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through home life and family. Leo individuals may experience a surge of energy and passion in their domestic environment or connections with loved ones. This transit encourages them to take proactive steps to create a sense of stability and comfort in their home life. It's a time for embracing their emotional roots. The eighth house signifies intimacy, shared resources, and transformational experiences. With Mars' influence in this domain, Leo individuals may find themselves embarking on a journey of self-discovery, exploring taboo subjects, or seeking greater insight into their own motivations and desires. This transit encourages individuals to confront their deepest fears and insecurities, ultimately leading to a process of inner transformation and renewal. However, it is essential for Leo individuals to proceed with caution during this transit, as the presence of Rahu alongside Mars may intensify feelings of anxiety, paranoia, or emotional turmoil. The combination of Mars and Rahu in the 8th house can lead to impulsive or reckless behavior, particularly in matters related to intimacy, shared finances, or psychological well-being. It is crucial for Leo individuals to maintain a sense of groundedness and mindfulness during this period, avoiding rash decisions or confrontations that may lead to further discord. One notable effect of this transit is its impact on financial matters and shared resources. Leo individuals may find themselves grappling with issues related to joint investments, inheritances, or taxes, particularly those involving their partners, spouse or their spouse's family. Mars' influence in the eighth house may intensify emotions surrounding financial matters, leading to conflicts or power struggles within relationships. It is essential for Leo individuals to approach these issues with diplomacy, patience, and a willingness to compromise. The transit of Mars into Pisces may prompt Leo individuals to seek healing and purification on both physical and emotional levels. Mars' influence in the 8th house encourages individuals to purge toxins from their lives, whether through holistic therapies, detoxification practices, or emotional release techniques. Leo individuals may find solace in practices such as massage, acupuncture, or aromatherapy, which can help alleviate stress and promote overall well-being. Leo individuals may experience shifts in their social circles or income streams during this transit, as Mars' aspect on the 11th house indicates a potential for change in networking or collaboration. Individuals may seek out new opportunities for partnership or joint ventures, particularly in areas related to real estate, home renovation, or family businesses. However, it is essential for Leo individuals to carefully weigh the risks and benefits of any new endeavors, especially in light of Mars' influence in the 8th house. 
Overall, the transit of Mars into Pisces presents Leo individuals with a profound opportunity for personal growth and transformation. By confronting their deepest fears, exploring hidden truths, and seeking healing on both physical and emotional levels, individuals can emerge from this transit stronger, wiser, and more resilient. However, it is crucial for Leo individuals to approach this period with mindfulness, caution, and a willingness to seek guidance when needed. With patience, perseverance, and self-awareness, Leo individuals can navigate this transit successfully, laying the foundation for a brighter and more fulfilling future ahead. For Virgo individuals, the transit of Mars into Pisces, conjunction with Rahu, indicates a significant period of change in dynamism. As Mars moves into the seventh house, the domain of partnerships, relationships, and alliances takes center stage, ushering in a phase characterized by increased assertiveness, vigor, and transformative energy. For Virgo individuals, the transit of Mars through the seventh house signifies a time of intensified interactions and heightened engagement within relationships, whether they be personal or professional. With Mars energizing this sector of the chart, individuals are likely to feel a surge of confidence and assertiveness in their dealings with others. This transit empowers Virgo individuals to take charge of their interactions, assert their needs, and pursue their goals with determination and conviction. As the 8th house lord transiting the 12th away suggests a period of introspection and potential losses or letting go in areas related to transformation, shared resources, and psychological depth. Virgo individuals may find themselves reflecting on matters related to intimacy, trust, and shared finances. There may be a sense of withdrawal or a need to reassess their approach to handling joint resources. This transit encourages Virgo to release any attachments to past traumas or unhealthy patterns, allowing for closure and a deeper understanding of their own psychological landscape. Mars as the third house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through communication, siblings, short trips, and skills. Virgo individuals may experience a surge of energy and passion in their interactions with siblings, neighbors, or through short journeys. It's a time for embracing their curiosity and taking proactive steps to pursue their interests and hobbies. However, the presence of Rahu alongside Mars and Pisces adds a layer of complexity to this transit, indicating the potential for conflicts, power struggles, and unexpected challenges in the area of partnerships. The combination of Mars and Rahu may create tension, discord, or misunderstandings within relationships, particularly if individuals are not mindful of their actions and words. Virgo individuals must exercise caution to avoid impulsive behavior, rash decisions, or confrontations that could jeopardize their relationships. Instead, it is advisable for Virgo individuals to approach interactions with diplomacy, tact, and a willingness to compromise. By fostering open communication, addressing underlying issues, and working collaboratively with their partners, Virgo individuals can navigate the potential pitfalls of this transit and strengthen their relationships in the process. The influence of Mars and Rahu in Pisces may present obstacles or complications in matters related to marriage or partnerships. Individuals who have recently entered into a new relationship or are considering marriage should proceed with caution, as this transit may bring about challenges or conflicts that need to be navigated carefully. It is essential for Virgo individuals to communicate openly, honestly, and authentically with their partners, addressing any concerns or grievances that may arise. Despite the potential for conflict, the transit of Mars into the seventh house also offers opportunities for growth, expansion, and transformation within relationships. Virgo individuals may find themselves drawn to new business ventures, collaborations, or networking opportunities that have the potential to broaden their horizons and bring about positive changes in their lives. This transit encourages individuals to be proactive in seeking out new connections, exploring innovative ideas, and building partnerships that are based on mutual respect, trust, and shared goals. Mars' aspect on the 10th house may bring about sudden changes or developments in career matters for Virgo individuals. This aspect can provide a boost of energy, motivation, and ambition, inspiring individuals to pursue their professional goals with renewed enthusiasm and determination. However, it is essential for Virgo individuals to exercise caution and avoid impulsive actions that could jeopardize their professional reputation or stability. The influence of Mars on the second house may bring about fluctuations or volatility in financial matters for Virgo individuals. While there may be opportunities for sudden gains or windfalls, it is essential for individuals to exercise prudence, caution, and restraint when it comes to managing their finances. Virgo individuals should focus on maintaining financial stability, budgeting wisely, and avoiding speculative investments or expenditures that carry undue risk. Overall, 
The transit of Mars into Pisces alongside Raha holds both challenges and opportunities for Virgo individuals. While this period may bring about conflicts or tensions in relationships, it also offers the chance for growth, transformation, and renewed vitality within partnerships. By approaching interactions with mindfulness, diplomacy, and a willingness to compromise, Virgo individuals can navigate this transit successfully and emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient in their relationships and endeavors. For Libra individuals, the transit of Mars into Pisces, conjunction with Rahu, marks a pivotal period. With Mars moving into the sixth house of daily routines, health, and service, profound shifts in various aspects of life are anticipated. This transit presents both opportunities and challenges, urging Libra individuals to navigate with caution and mindfulness. Mars, as the ruler of the second and seventh houses, wields significant influence over personal and professional areas for Libra individuals. Its entry into the sixth house signifies a period of heightened activity, where individuals may experience a surge in energy, drive, and motivation to tackle tasks and responsibilities. This influx of Martian energy can be channeled productively into work-related endeavors, allowing Libra individuals to make strides in their professional pursuits and overcome obstacles with resilience and determination. As the seventh house lord transiting the twelfth away suggests a period of introspection and potential losses or letting go in areas related to partnerships, relationships, and collaborations. Libra individuals may find themselves reflecting on their one-on-one -on -one connections, both personal and professional. There may be a sense of withdrawal or a need to reassess their approach to relationships. This transit encourages Libra to release any unhealthy relationship dynamics, codependent patterns, or unresolved conflicts, allowing for closure and a deeper understanding of their own needs and boundaries within partnerships. The conjunction of Mars and Rahu in Pisces may lead to misunderstandings, conflicts, or disruptions in personal connections. Libra individuals are urged to approach interactions with loved ones with patience, understanding, and empathy, avoiding confrontations or disagreements that could strain relationships. Mars as the second house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through finances, personal possessions and self-worth. Libra individuals may experience a surge of energy and passion in matters related to their financial security, personal possessions, and self-esteem. This transit encourages them to assertively pursue their financial goals and take proactive steps to increase their material resources. It's a time for embracing their talents and skills, and finding joy in the process of building their wealth. However, the conjunction of Mars with Rahu in Pisces adds a layer of complexity to this transit. While Mars thrives in the sixth house, symbolizing a time for addressing challenges and affecting positive change, the presence of Rahu may introduce unpredictability, conflicts, or misunderstandings. Libra individuals are advised to exercise caution and diplomacy in their interactions, avoiding impulsive actions or confrontations that could escalate tensions. This transit offers an opportunity for self-improvement and personal growth. Libra individuals are encouraged to utilize the energy of Mars to focus on their health and well-being, engaging in physical activities, exercise routines, or holistic practices that promote vitality and resilience. By prioritizing self-care and adopting healthy lifestyle habits, individuals can enhance their physical and mental well-being, thereby navigating the challenges of this transit with greater ease and fortitude. Mars' aspect on the first house underscores the need for caution regarding potential accidents or injuries, particularly for those engaged in physically demanding activities. Libra individuals are urged to prioritize safety and take preventive measures to avoid any mishaps during this period. By exercising prudence and mindfulness, individuals can mitigate the risks associated with Mars transit and safeguard their well-being. From a career perspective, this transit holds promise for individuals involved in professions requiring problem-solving, management, or service-oriented roles. The dynamic energy of Mars in the sixth house offers opportunities for growth, recognition, and success in endeavors that involve overcoming obstacles or challenges. Libra individuals are encouraged to embrace the spirit of resilience, adaptability, and perseverance in their professional pursuits, thereby positioning themselves for advancement and achievement. Financial matters may require careful management during this period, as Mars' aspect on the twelfth house suggests the potential for unexpected expenses or losses. Libra individuals are advised to exercise prudence, budgeting, and financial planning to mitigate any financial risks or challenges that may arise. By adopting a disciplined approach to money management and avoiding unnecessary expenditures, individuals can safeguard their financial stability and well-being. Overall, the transit of Mars into Pisces alongside Rahu indicates a period of significant change, 
growth, and challenges for Libra individuals. By harnessing the energy of Mars effectively, focusing on self-improvement, and navigating conflicts with diplomacy and composure, individuals can emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient in their personal and professional lives. Through mindful action and strategic planning, Libra individuals can navigate the complexities of this transit with grace and confidence, paving the way for success and fulfillment in the days ahead. For Scorpio individuals, Mars's transit into Pisces holds profound significance, indicating a period of dynamic energy and transformative potential. This transit, particularly impacting the fifth house, brings forth plenty of opportunities and challenges across various domains of life. Firstly, Mars's transit into the fifth house of Pisces signifies a surge in creativity, passion, and self-expression for Scorpio individuals. This transit imbues them with renewed vigor to pursue their passions and take calculated risks, especially in matters of the heart. Whether it's exploring new hobbies, engaging in sports activities, or nurturing creative endeavors, Scorpio individuals are driven by a sense of adventure and excitement during this period. However, it's essential for them to maintain balance and avoid succumbing to impulsiveness or excessive dominance in relationships, as Mars's fiery energy can sometimes amplify these tendencies. The placement of Mars, the ruler of both the first and sixth houses, and the fifth house brings about favorable outcomes for Scorpio individuals. This alignment suggests a sense of protection and divine intervention during challenging times, with potential assistance coming from unexpected quarters. Scorpio individuals may find themselves guided by providence, whether through timely information or support from unexpected sources, helping them overcome obstacles and challenges on their path. As the sixth house lord transiting the twelfth away suggests a period of introspection and potential losses or letting go in areas related to health, daily routines, and service to others. Scorpio individuals may find themselves reflecting on their habits, work environment. There may be a sense of withdrawal or a need to reassess their approach to managing their physical and mental health. This transit encourages Scorpio to release any unhealthy habits or patterns. Mars as the first house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through self-expression and personal identity. Scorpio individuals may experience a surge of energy and passion in expressing themselves authentically and pursuing their personal interests and hobbies. The combined influence of Mars and Rahu in Pisces accelerates income sources for Scorpio individuals, particularly with their aspect extending to the 11th house of gains and aspirations. This alignment, coupled with Jupiter's benefic aspect on the 11th house, augurs well for career advancements and financial prosperity. It's an opportune time for Scorpio individuals to explore entrepreneurial ventures, launch startups, or pursue innovative projects, especially in fields related to engineering, technology, or space exploration. However, amidst the promising prospects, Scorpio individuals need to be mindful of potential health concerns associated with the water sign Pisces. Imbalances in bodily fluids, increased acidity levels, or susceptibility to water-related ailments may pose challenges during this transit. Therefore, maintaining a balanced diet, staying hydrated, and avoiding unhealthy habits become imperative for Scorpio individuals to safeguard their well-being. Saturn's influence, its placement in the fourth house and aspect on the tenth house and ascendant highlight the importance of stepping out of comfort zones for Scorpio individuals. Because of Saturn's restrictive energy, those who exhibit diligence, perseverance, and a willingness to embrace change stand to reap significant rewards during this period. Opportunities for career growth, promotions, or business expansion may present themselves, supported by Mars's aspect on the 12th house, which facilitates effective management of expenses and resources. Scorpio individuals may experience heightened mental activity during this transit, characterized by a flurry of ideas, thoughts, and avenues to explore. Practicing mindfulness, meditation, and grounding exercises becomes essential for maintaining mental clarity and managing overwhelming thoughts and emotions. The fifth house influence also suggests a surge in recreational activities, adventurous pursuits, and novel experiences, presenting Scorpio individuals with opportunities for personal growth and self-discovery. However, amidst the excitement and dynamism, Scorpio individuals must exercise caution in financial matters, especially with Mars's aspect on the eighth house of shared resources and investments. While there's potential for sudden gains or financial windfalls, Scorpio individuals should avoid taking undue risks or compromising ethical standards for short-term gains. Prudent decision-making, financial planning, and adherence to ethical principles are paramount to navigate this period successfully. Overall, 
The transit of Mars and Rahu into Pisces indicates a period of immense potential and growth for Scorpio individuals across various facets of life. By harnessing the energy of this transit effectively, Scorpio individuals can capitalize on opportunities for creative expression, career advancement, and personal development, while navigating potential health and financial challenges with wisdom, mindfulness, and integrity. For Sagittarius individuals, the transit of Mars into Pisces, conjunction with Rahu, signifies an event that holds implications, particularly as Mars moves into their fourth house. This transit not only brings a heightened focus on matters related to home and family but also carries the potential for dynamic shifts and challenges across various spheres of life. As Mars transits the fourth house, it prompts Sagittarius individuals to take a more proactive role in their domestic affairs. There's a heightened drive to improve their living environment, potentially through home improvement projects or investments in real estate. Mars' influence in the fourth house is particularly noteworthy for Sagittarius, as it governs both the fifth and twelfth houses in their natal chart. This alignment suggests opportunities for launching new business ventures, acquiring assets, or making strategic investments. However, it's crucial for Sagittarius individuals to approach these endeavors with caution and careful planning, as impulsive decisions or lack of direction may lead to setbacks or financial losses. As the fifth house lord transiting the twelfth away suggests a period of introspection and potential losses or letting go in areas related to creativity, romance, and self-expression. Sagittarius individuals may find themselves reflecting on their romantic relationships and sources of joy and inspiration. There may be a sense of withdrawal or a need to reassess their approach to self-expression and entertainment. This transit encourages Sagittarius to release any creative blocks or limiting beliefs, allowing for closure and a deeper understanding of their creative potential and sources of joy. Mars as the twelfth house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through solitude spiritual pursuits, and inner exploration. Sagittarius individuals may experience a surge of energy and passion in their spiritual practices, meditation, or introspective activities. This transit encourages them to delve into their minds and explore hidden motivations or desires. It's a time for embracing their inner world and finding joy in solitude and introspection. The conjunction of Mars and Rahu in Pisces underscores the importance of accelerating knowledge and wisdom during this transit. Sagittarius individuals are encouraged to invest in learning new skills or acquiring specialized knowledge that can enhance their career prospects. However, the influence of Pisces may also lead to a loss of focus or context, necessitating a disciplined approach to goal-setting and strategic planning. Sagittarius individuals must strive to maintain clarity of vision and avoid being swayed by illusions or misinformation. Mars' aspect on the seventh house may bring increased activity and sometimes tension in matters related to partnerships or marriage for Sagittarius individuals. While there may be opportunities for growth or advancement in business dealings, there's also a risk of conflicts or misunderstandings arising. Sagittarius individuals are advised to approach relationship dynamics with patience, empathy, and clear communication to avoid unnecessary friction or disruptions. The influence of Mars and Rahu in the fourth house may lead to increased expenses or disruptions in earning sources for Sagittarius individuals. It's essential for them to exercise prudence in financial matters, avoiding hasty decisions or impulsive spending. By maintaining a disciplined approach to budgeting and financial planning, Sagittarius individuals can mitigate risks and ensure stability in their economic outlook. Sagittarius individuals engaged in public service or with overseas interests may experience heightened energy and motivation during this transit. This period presents opportunities for making significant contributions to their respective fields or expanding their professional networks globally. However, they must remain vigilant against the pitfalls of illusion and misinformation, ensuring that their actions are grounded in reality and aligned with their long-term goals. In terms of career and professional growth, Mars' aspect on the 10th house, alongside Cato's transit, indicates a period of transformation and upheaval in one's line of work. While this energy may bring about significant changes or opportunities for advancement, Sagittarius individuals are advised to proceed with caution and prudence. It's essential for them to carefully assess their career decisions, ensuring that they align with their values, aspirations, and long-term objectives. Overall, the transit of Mars and Rahu into Pisces presents Sagittarius individuals with a mix of opportunities and challenges across various aspects of life. By harnessing the energy of this transit effectively, they can navigate potential obstacles, make informed decisions, and channel their inner drive and motivation towards achieving their goals with clarity, purpose, and integrity. Through mindful planning and strategic action, 
Sagittarius individuals can emerge from this transit stronger, wiser, and more resilient, ready to embrace the opportunities that lie ahead. For Capricorn individuals, the Mars transit into Pisces, conjunction with Rahu, brings forth a period of dynamic shifts and opportunities. Mars, as it moves into the third house, ignites a surge of energy and assertiveness, particularly in matters pertaining to communication, initiatives, and intellectual pursuits. This transit signifies a time of heightened activity, boldness, and the potential for significant progress in various areas of life. With Mars's influence in the third house, Capricorn individuals are poised to express themselves with courage and directness. They may feel a strong motivation to take on new challenges, initiate projects, and engage in dynamic interactions with siblings, neighbors, or peers. This period encourages them to assert their ideas and opinions boldly, fostering a sense of empowerment and confidence in their communication style. As the fourth house lord transiting the twelfth away suggests a period of introspection and potential losses or letting go in areas related to home, family, and emotional security. Capricorn individuals may find themselves reflecting on their roots, sense of belonging, and family dynamics. There may be a sense of withdrawal or a need to reassess their approach to creating a sense of stability and security in their personal life. Mars as the 11th house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness through social connections and aspirations getting fulfilled. Capricorn individuals may experience a surge of energy and passion in their social circles, group activities, or involvement in community projects. However, it's essential to recognize the unique dynamics of this transit, especially with Rahu's conjunction with Mars and Pisces. The presence of Rahu amplifies the energy of Mars, introducing an element of unpredictability and scattered energy. While Mars typically empowers initiatives and assertiveness, its conjunction with Rahu may lead to impulsive actions or a scattered focus. Capricorn individuals are advised to channel this energy strategically and avoid being overly impulsive or reactionary in their endeavors. Mars's fourth aspect falling on the sixth house indicates a drive to overcome obstacles and confront adversaries, particularly in matters related to work and health. Capricorn individuals may find themselves motivated to tackle challenges head-on, seeking to improve their efficiency and productivity in the workplace. However, it's crucial to avoid burnout and prioritize self-care amidst the intensity of this transit. Balancing hard work with adequate rest and relaxation is essential to maintain physical and emotional well-being. Capricorn individuals can leverage the dynamic energy of this transit by engaging in creative endeavors or intellectual pursuits. Writing, music, or artistic expression can serve as therapeutic outlets for processing emotions and navigating the complexities of this period. The conjunction of Mars and Rahu also suggests opportunities for travel, particularly for educational or professional purposes. Capricorn individuals may find themselves embarking on journeys that expand their horizons and provide valuable experiences. However, it's important to approach travel plans with caution and avoid impulsive decisions that could lead to unforeseen challenges or setbacks. While Mars's transit in the third house may bring momentum and progress in various endeavors, Capricorn individuals should be mindful of potential conflicts or disagreements, particularly with siblings or close associates. Diplomacy and restraint in communication are essential to navigate through challenging interactions and maintain harmony in relationships. It's crucial to listen attentively to others' perspectives and avoid unnecessary confrontations or power struggles. On a positive note, Capricorn individuals can expect support from family and friends, especially in endeavors related to career or personal growth. Mars's rulership over the 4th and 11th houses indicates a potential for success and fulfillment, particularly in long-awaited projects or endeavors. However, it's essential to avoid rash decisions or actions driven by impulsivity or aggression, as they could lead to unnecessary complications or setbacks. Mars's aspect on the ninth house suggests opportunities for spiritual growth, long-distance travel, or religious pursuits. Similarly, Mars's eighth aspect on the tenth house supports Capricorn individuals in shouldering responsibilities and executing tasks with precision and determination, further enhancing their professional reputation and success. Overall, the Mars transit in Pisces, accompanied by Rahu's influence, offers a mix of challenges and opportunities for Capricorn individuals. By harnessing the energy of Mars strategically, practicing mindfulness, and maintaining balance in communication and action, Capricorn individuals can navigate through this transit with resilience and emerge stronger and more empowered to achieve their goals. For Aquarius individuals, the Mars transit into Pisces, conjunction with Rahu's presence in the same sign, 
marks a significant astrological event with far-reaching implications. This transit promises a dynamic interplay of energies that will influence various aspects of their lives, particularly in matters related to finance, career, family dynamics, and personal growth. For Aquarius individuals, Mars's journey into their second house signifies a period of heightened assertiveness and vigor, especially concerning financial matters and material possessions. Mars, known for its assertive and action-oriented nature, energizes their financial affairs, imbuing them with a fierce determination to protect their assets and family. This transit may see Aquarius individuals becoming more proactive in managing their finances, making bold investment decisions, or pursuing lucrative opportunities with renewed vigor. As the third house lord transiting the twelfth away suggests a period of introspection and potential losses or letting go in areas related to communication, siblings, and initiatives. Aquarius individuals may find themselves reflecting on their communication style, relationships with siblings, and their endeavors. There may be a sense of withdrawal or a need to reassess their approach to communication and connection with others. Mars as the tenth house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through career public image, and father. Aquarius individuals may experience a surge of energy and passion in their professional pursuits, leadership roles, or projects. This transit encourages them to assertively pursue their career goals and take proactive steps to enhance their public reputation. The conjunction of Mars with Rahu in the second house augurs well for Aquarius individuals in terms of financial growth and prosperity. Rahu, the North Node, amplifies Mars's influence, leading to increased courage, ambition, and a strong drive for wealth accumulation. Aquarius individuals may find themselves embarking on new ventures, launching entrepreneurial endeavors, or witnessing significant advancements in their career path during this transit. The combined influence of Mars and Rahu empowers them to overcome obstacles and achieve their financial goals with determination and resilience. However, despite the promising prospects for financial gain, Aquarius individuals should remain vigilant of potential conflicts or challenges in their personal relationships particularly within the family. Mars's presence in the second house can sometimes lead to fiery disputes over money, possessions, or inheritance, causing tensions with siblings, parents, or other family members. It's essential for Aquarius individuals to navigate these interpersonal dynamics with tact, patience, and diplomacy, avoiding unnecessary confrontations that could strain familial bonds. Mars's fourth aspect on the fifth house indicates a period of increased productivity and creativity particularly in endeavors related to speculative investments, artistic pursuits, or entrepreneurial ventures. Aquarius individuals may experience a surge of inspiration and innovation, leading to the development of new ideas or ventures that have the potential to yield significant financial returns. However, they should exercise caution and avoid impulsive decision-making, ensuring that they conduct thorough research and due diligence before committing to any new ventures. The aspect of Mars on the 8th house may bring about challenges or disruptions in personal life and relationships for Aquarius individuals. They may encounter issues related to joint finances, shared resources, or intimate partnerships, leading to conflicts or power struggles with their spouse or significant other. It's essential for Aquarius individuals to address any underlying tensions or insecurities within their relationships with honesty, transparency, and empathy, fostering mutual trust and understanding. Aquarius individuals should be mindful of indulging in addictive behaviors or unhealthy coping mechanisms during this transit, as Mars's influence can heighten cravings and desires, particularly for substances like alcohol, tobacco, or other vices. They should prioritize their physical and emotional well-being, seeking healthy outlets for stress relief and practicing self-care to maintain balance and harmony in their lives. On a positive note, Mars's aspect on the ninth house offers opportunities for personal growth, expansion, an adventure for Aquarius individuals. They may find themselves drawn to travel, exploration, or higher learning experiences that broaden their horizons and deepen their understanding of the world. Overall, the Mars transit in Pisces, coupled with Rahu's influence, presents Aquarius individuals with a potent mix of opportunities and challenges across various aspects of their lives. By harnessing the energy of Mars strategically, maintaining balance in their personal and professional endeavors, and cultivating resilience in the face of adversity, Aquarius individuals can navigate through this transit with grace, wisdom, and empowerment, emerging stronger and more evolved on their journey towards self-discovery and fulfillment. For Pisces individuals, the transit of Mars into Pisces, conjunction with the presence of Rahu in the same sign, indicates a period of profound astrological significance. With Mars poised to enter their first house, 
Pisces individuals can anticipate a surge of energy and assertiveness that will reverberate across various facets of their lives, encompassing their sense of self, physical vitality, and overall direction. Mars's transit into the first house marks a pivotal moment for Pisces individuals, igniting within them a newfound sense of confidence and dynamism. As the ruler of their ninth and second houses, Mars assumes the role of a benefic planet for Pisces, indicating auspicious outcomes and opportunities for growth and success. Pisces individuals may find themselves propelled forward in their endeavors, with obstacles giving way to progress and advancement. As the second house lord transiting the twelfth away suggests a period of introspection and potential losses or letting go in areas related to finances, values, and possessions. Pisces individuals may find themselves reflecting on their financial situation, material possessions, and sense of self-worth. There may be a sense of withdrawal or a need to reassess their approach to managing their resources and defining their values. Mars as the ninth house lord transiting the fifth away indicates the potential for finding happiness or fulfillment through philosophy, spirituality, and long-distance travels. Pisces individuals may experience a surge of energy and passion in their pursuit of knowledge, spiritual growth, or travel experiences. This transit encourages them to assertively pursue opportunities for personal growth and expand their horizons through learning and exploration. The conjunction of Mars with Rahu in the first house amplifies this transformative energy, accelerating the pace of change and ushering in a period of rapid evolution and expansion. While Pisces individuals are naturally inclined towards a relaxed and introspective demeanor, the influence of Mars and Rahu may challenge them to embrace a more proactive and assertive approach to life. This potent combination of energies empowers Pisces individuals to overcome limitations and seize opportunities with courage and determination. However, amidst the surge of vitality and ambition, it is imperative for Pisces individuals to exercise caution and discernment. The presence of Rahu alongside Mars may cloud judgment and lead to impulsive actions or decisions that could have adverse consequences. Pisces individuals are advised to pause and reflect before acting on their impulses, ensuring that they weigh the pros and cons carefully before making any significant moves. With Jupiter's aspect on the ninth house, Pisces individuals are encouraged to seek guidance and wisdom from trusted sources, such as mentors, elders, or spiritual advisors. Jupiter's influence bestows a sense of direction and purpose upon their endeavors, guiding them towards opportunities that resonate with their highest aspirations. Pisces individuals are urged to remain open-minded and receptive to the counsel and insights offered by others, as they may hold the keys to unlocking their full potential. Mars's aspect on the fourth house signifies a period of stability and security on the home front for Pisces individuals, offering them a sense of comfort and well-being. They may find solace in domestic pursuits or familial connections during this time, nurturing their emotional and psychological needs. However, Pisces individuals should exercise restraint in their spending habits, avoiding impulsive purchases or investments that may jeopardize their financial stability. On the relationship front, Pisces individuals may encounter challenges or discord in their partnerships due to Mars's aspect on the seventh house. It is essential for them to approach interpersonal dynamics with patience, empathy, and diplomacy, steering clear of confrontations or power struggles that could strain relationships. Effective communication and compromise are crucial for maintaining harmony and balance in their interactions with others. Pisces individuals should remain vigilant against fraudulent activities or deceptive schemes, particularly in financial matters, as Mars's aspect on the eighth house may create vulnerabilities to scams or deceit. They are advised to exercise caution and skepticism when presented with lucrative offers or investment opportunities, conducting thorough research and due diligence before committing to any agreements. Overall, the Mars transit in Pisces, coupled with Rahu's influence, presents Pisces individuals with a potent blend of opportunities and challenges for personal growth and transformation. By harnessing the energy of Mars wisely, seeking guidance from trusted sources, and exercising prudence in their actions and decisions, Pisces individuals can navigate through this period with grace, resilience, and empowerment. As we wrap up this transit episode, Remember that these insights are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24 degree difference with the tropical zodiac. If you'd like more personalized predictions for their specific zodiac sign or have any questions about their astrological chart, feel free to reach out to us. Stay tuned for more astrological updates. If they found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more astrology insights. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so they never miss an update. Thank they once again for joining us, and we eagerly anticipate sharing more astrological wisdom with they in the future.
Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright.